With so many ways of climbing up that DPS meter, it can be difficult to find where to go to get a good boost in damage. Luckily, with the newest update, getting reliably awesome stats on your accessories just became that much easier using Psyches. Hello, you can call me Cyhone, and in this video, we're going to break down how to get Grand Psyches for your accessories. Let's dive right in. There are a few different ways you can get Psyches. Kumi Psyches for your glove and belt have a chance to drop in Forest of Echoes hard mode. Also, if you have a few nocturnal scales to spare, you can go to Junsure and pick up Kumi Psyches there. If you're farming the aerodrome, you have a chance to drop Maximon Psyches for your ring, earring, and necklace. I have seen a handful of them drop on floors 41 and up myself. Once you've collected four of the same kind of Psyche, you can use Transformation Stones and a Challenger's Token to create the Grand Kumi Psyche and Grand Maximon Psyche in the Transmutation tab. As far as how to get Challenger Tokens, there are two ways to get them. You can either go to Kanja to exchange your Sky Stealer Challenge Tokens, which you can get as a weekly Demon's Bane reward. These can be exchanged for Echo Challenge Tokens, which can then be used to purchase an assortment of Psyches, Outfits, and of course, the Challenger's Token. Alternatively, you can farm the Aerodrome Floors 41 and up. This is going to be your best option because it's going to be the fastest and most cost efficient way of getting these tokens. And there you go. Hopefully that helps in giving you a boost in DPS. As always, you can call me Cyhone, and if you need a group to run with or raid with, you can join our multi-run Discord server using the link below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was helpful.